So, Prakash has sent me an email asking some questions about the essay. Eleven questions to be precise. So, uh, some of them will uh, turn out to be redundant, I think. So, nonetheless, let's go through them. Hopefully, they'll be uh, the answers will be helpful to everyone. Question one, do we write headings in our assignment? Uh, for If we're assuming we're talking about the essay, it's not necessary. The essay is only 1,500 words long, so uh, it doesn't really warrant uh, subheadings uh, at, uh, for an essay of that length. If it were a uh, 10,000 word essay, yes. 1,500, no, not necessary. Question two. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I understand that I have to take a position on the article I am writing an essay on. This means I need to critique the article of my essay. Uh, okay, I won't read on any further. I'm going to clarify something important here. The essay is not about a particular article. The essay is about a topic. It's not about an article. For example, in Prakash's case, he might be, um, he's done a presentation on uh, a von Hayek's article, but that's not what the essay is about. The essay is about the topic area and the topic area is um, the market as an information transmitter. That's the topic. And that's what the essay is about. So you don't take a position on the article. You take a position on the topic. You don't, therefore, critique the article. Okay. You're not necessarily even critiquing the topic. You're you're taking a position, making an argument about the topic that relates to the topic. So, for example, um, if we were to take Prakash's own own case, the topic area is the market as an information transmitter. Now, what you could do is you need to, as I said in the previous video, you need to ask yourself a question. What am I going to ask myself um, and then answer? So for example, you could ask yourself a question. This is just giving an example. I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm saying this is an example. Uh, you could ask yourself the question, do markets adequately transmit all of the information required for people to make rational decisions? There's a question. Then you might even then go on to say, for example, and you can take a take an example and, and focus on a particular um, a particular situation or a particular case study if you liked. And you could say, all right, well, let's take the example of um, um, tender bidding um, for a particular good or service or something like that. So Prakash, for example, you might say, all right, um, if we took the case of uh, a, a market activity of uh, bidding for tenders for the supply of nursing homes, for example. All right, this is a market process. Does this kind of process adequately transmit the information necessary in order for, say, a government to uh, choose a supplier of a um, of nursing homes, or you could think of it from the perspective of uh, consumers. Is the market for nursing homes, say, in New South Wales, is the price mechanism and the information about price adequate? Does it provide sufficient information for consumers, that is people who are thinking about using a nursing home service, is that information sufficient for them to make a rational decision about which particular nursing home they want to 
choose or whether to choose a nursing home at all for their you know beloved elderly auntie or uncle or grandparents or whatever okay so that for example is a topic that's about the market as an information processor now in answering that question you can utilize the relevant literature and that relevant literature will include as for example a starting point von Hayek's article but it won't be focused on von Hayek's article it might it will use it along with a bunch of other articles that are relevant to this question okay so you're not critiquing the article in any way right? that's not the purpose of the essay Right? That's the purpose of the critique uh, assessment task, the critique assignment, which comes at the end of the semester, which is a different assessment task. Okay. So, question four. If I write the report on Hayek, then turn it in will return a number of plagiarism points blah blah okay so this isn't going to be an issue if you remember that the essay is not about von hayek or whatever you know seminal article that you might have decided to pick to give a presentation on the essay will be about a topic okay so there won't be a high similarity rate between your essay and say for example your critique assignment okay similarity rate should be relatively low question five if this is the task i'm going to i'm asking again to clarify if i write an essay on the von hayek article the uses of knowledge in society from my first assignment your essay is not about the von hayek article your essay is about the topic area, which von Hayek's article makes a contribution to. One of a number of articles which make a contribution to that topic. Okay. Question six. I believe the essay is practically a critical appreciation of the article. No, it's not a critical appreciation of the article. It's the essay is about making a case or making an argument or taking a position about a particular topic and answering a question that you formulate for yourself about that topic. That's what this essay is about. Seven, is there a referencing style or are there formatting requirements that I need to adhere to? Uh, well, I would prefer that you use the Harvard referencing style um, that's my personal preference but you don't have to use that style you could use the Chicago uh, style if you wanted to you could use the Cambridge historical uh, method which involves footnotes if you wanted to it's up to you really but whatever you do maintain one style don't mix and match but I personally prefer the Harvard style. That's just me. Um, as to formatting, well, obviously, as the learning guide says, you should use 12 point uh, formatting for whatever font you use. Use a font that is sensible and aesthetically pleasing. For example, Garamond or New Times Roman is fine. Uh, but as long as it's sensible, don't write your essay using, I don't know, you know, Comic Sans or Windings or something ridiculous like that. Uh, I don't care about margins, but use sensible sized margins. Right? I'll leave it to your personal judgment and uh, aesthetic appreciation of what the page looks like. But you can figure that out for yourself. I'm not going to be particularly pedantic about that. Eight. Is the word length of the essay an absolute requirement? You should write at least 1,500 words. You can write more than that if you like. You can write 10% over 
1,500, you can write 20% over 1,500, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. One would assume that you're going to write at least 1,500 words and a bit more, however much more, doesn't matter that much. As long as it's not triple the amount or something ridiculous like that. Uh, question nine. As a general guide, does the distribution of words around the various headings below seem reasonable? Introduction, 10%. Body, 80%. Conclusions, 10%. Yes, that sounds reasonable. No problem. Question 10. Should we insert page numbers and headers with our name, etc.? Page numbers is probably a good idea. It's very handy. Headers, it's up to you. I don't care. And question 11. What is the last date by which I need to send you my draft article for your comments? All right, when you, if you want to submit a draft to me uh, before you submit, that's fine, you can do so. Bear in mind that the only feedback that I'm going to give is, I'm not going to write comments or anything like that as a general rule. My main feedback will be, yes, you're on the right track, or no, you're, you've gone you've gone rogue and you're totally off topic, this is not appropriate for the essay. Right? It would be good if you do that at least two weeks before the essay is due. So that will be... When will that be? Two weeks before the essay is due. So that'll be the 9th of September. So you, if you want to send me some draft for me to have a quick look at and say yes, no, by the 9th of September. And that is the answer to Prakash's questions. Uh, happy essay writing, everybody. Bye.